Okay, everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to walk through a sample configuration of extension mobility. Extension mobility is a very useful concept to be familiar with and um, to implement in your environments. It's very useful when you have a scenario where multiple people are using the same phone. This is common uh, at uh, maybe you have a type, some type of shift work where you know an employee or a team member has a schedule from uh, the first eight hours of the day and then somebody else comes in and sits uh, in his same workspace and then they log in or uh, they start the next shift <clears throat> what you're going to want is uh, you can either have that same phone to have the same extension um, and you'll introduce a whole host of problems dealing with that uh, or you can have extension mobility where a person um, essentially walks in in the same way that they log into the computer with maybe their ADUC username. They have a uh, CUCM username that they log into their phone. It pulls up their ex extension, uh, their settings, um, things like that. So yeah, that is the reason why. And now I am going to walk through uh, how. So the first thing you want to check before you get any further is make sure that you have the extension mobility service activated and that is what we're going to do we went up to Cisco unified serviceability tools service activation select your publisher or all your servers if you have a multi-server environment I just have the publisher <clears throat> you're gonna run into issues if the extension mobility service is not enabled on all your servers your call manager servers so just make sure that it is uh, right here we can see that extension mobility is activated so we should be set to jet we're going to go back to the CM administration and the first step well the steps the order of the steps doesn't necessarily matter you just need to make sure that you complete all of them before you <clears throat> attempt to uh, to use extension mobility so uh, take that with a grain of salt as you watch this video you can do the steps in any manner that you uh, deem appropriate or that is the most easily rememberable for you but this is the way that I know how to do it so that's the way I'm going to uh, show you obviously so the first thing you want to do is go to device device settings phone services <clears throat> Um, and as you can see, we have some phone services here, some common phone services. These are basically, think of this as the, uh, the things that are behind the buttons that you press on your phone. So if you have a phone and you have the little book icon or the directory icon and you click on that, this is uh, the back end. This is what's actually, um, when you click on that, this is what's actually directing uh, your, uh, your inputs and things like that. So we are going to create a new one. <clears throat> we are going to call it MobM extension mobility and we're gonna say this is a uh, extension mobility service now the service URL here I'm going to use <clears throat> this one it's already saved because I have this implemented and I blew it out and then I'm redoing it this is the standard service URL that you should throw in here the only uh, variable that you need to modify is going to be the IP address. This should be the IP address of whatever service or whatever server you're enabling this service on. So uh, this is my publisher and it's 192.168.0.101. <clears throat> okay, so we're good there. Um, we're going to keep everything else the same with the exception of this right here. We want it to be enabled, obviously. And we are going to hit save. And now we are going to go back. And the next step we need to do is we need to create a uh, device profile. So you can think of this as being the, the phone profile or the profile that is going to be created for each user that you have. Um, and uh, you can create the device type. This doesn't necessarily have to be what uh, the person that's logging into the phone um, doesn't have to correlate exactly. Uh, you should just know that if you enable it for like uh, 7821 and uh, they log into an 8851, the buttons, is, it's going to be a mismatch of the line appearances. So just know that. Try and keep it um, matching up and you'll have a better, uh, a better experience. 
So I am going to, in my lab environment, test an IP communicator. Hit next. We're going to do sit next. Um, we're just going to call this George Washington uh, Mob M. And we don't need the jabber in there, so we're going to say that. We're going to say this is um, George Washington um, Mob M 1007. We're going to keep all of this stuff uh, the, the same, default, right? And we're going to hit save. It wants me to pick a phone button template, okay? We're going to just say uh, standard. Uh, where is standard unified communicator SIP? That sounds good to me. Hit save. Now, this looks like a phone configuration page because once you hit save, now you will be prompted with a DN. So we need to add a DN. And for this one, I'm going to say it's 1007. And we're going to put it in the internal partition, like the rest of our internal directory numbers. And I already had this created, like I said earlier. So uh, the name already populated. It's George Washington, uh, Mob M 1007. We have some directory number settings that we can create. So this will be specific to the DN once uh, Mr. Washington or President Washington logs in to his IP communicator and starts his shift. Uh, so we're going to fill in the rest of this stuff here. And we're just going to populate an external mask. Um, and as you can see, you can still enable recording, things like that. You can get very granular, and it's very powerful um, once you start really looking into uh, to all the odds and ends. So we're going to say that looks good. We're going to hit save, uh, apply the configuration. Uh, it says there's no devices. That's fine. I always just do that just to, as like a, a good measure type thing. Now, this is very important. This device profile needs to subscribe to the extension mobility service that you created in step one. So when I said that the steps don't matter, I guess in reality they do because you won't be able to do this uh, unless you created the extension mobility service in the first place. So probably that step needs to be uh, first, but the rest of them can follow some regular order or some irregular order. Um, so <clears throat> you go back to the uh, the device profile configuration, right? You go up here to these related links and you are going to see this uh, little stipulation right here, subscribe and unsubscribe the services. Yes, please go and select the service. MobM, we want to subscribe to the extension mobility service and that is for the device profile. This like ephemeral virtual device profile we are subscribing it to the extension mobility service and if you do not do this you will be able to log into extension mobility but you will not be able to log out because the extension this device profile is going to take over the phone and if you don't have it subscribed to the service you won't be able to log out so make sure that you are subscribed to this service subscribe <clears throat> okay we are good now we are almost done the next thing we need to do is go to the phone that George Washington is going to log into. And this is the IP communicator. As you can tell, it has 1003 and 1001 as its uh, tangible DNs that are currently on the phone. If you were just walking around this office space and you've seen this phone at the desk, uh, it would have 1003 and 1001 with nobody's logged into it. So that's what we want. We want to go down here. And I don't think I reset this from my left. Yeah, I didn't. So this right here, the default is off. You want to make sure that enable extension mobility is on. Okay. And apply the config. Yes. And then, just as we did with the device profile, you need to make sure the device is subscribed. So we will do the same thing. We'll go and we will subscribe to extension mobility. Sorry, hit next hit subscribe boom so we are good to go we have the phone service created with the URL extension mobility we have the device profile created and subscribed we have the phone which is enabled for extension mobility and the phone is subscribed to extension mobility but there is one more thing now that I am uh, remembering you have to go to the actual user obviously George Washington and make sure that they are able 
to control this profile. And essentially we are granting him access, we are associating this uh, device profile with George Washington, the user. So we're gonna hit save and now we should be good to go. So in the next segment, uh, I'm gonna hop over to my Windows PC that I have IP Communicator uh, running on and we're gonna showcase how uh, someone would log in and log out of the um, of the extension mobility service so stick around for that all right so we are back on my windows pc and we are going to test out the extension mobility service that we just configured so the first thing we are going to do if we wanted to log into this phone uh, as you can see right now the, the phone looks uh, the way it does it has um it has this uh, extension right here, this DN, I believe this is 103, but the um, the description is, is different, it's the full DID, and then we have this DN right here, 1001. So just remember the way this looks. Um, we're going to hit the services button, and it, for a brief moment there, it showed mob M. We are going to enter in our uh, user ID, which is... Uh, G Washington and we're gonna use this old school uh, T9 texting format here um, so just bear with me as we log in here okay and we are going to say the pin is one two three four and then we're gonna hit submit <clears throat> and it's gonna say login successful and now we should see the phone uh, restart and then it'll load our preferences and register with call manager and from there essentially we'll have our own preferences on the same phone so this could be um, most likely it's going to be a tangible phone you probably won't uh, implement extension mobility for uh, IP communicator but uh, for the sake of the lab that is what we have to work with that's uh, the easiest uh, way for me to, to, to show this so we're gonna wait for this phone to register Okay, so now the phone has loaded, and as you can see, we had the DN1007 instead of the two DNs before, uh, essentially indicating that this is our, uh, our profile loaded onto the phone successfully, and we are good to go from there. So that is extension mobility in a nutshell. Um, very concise and compact demonstration. You can leverage this within your environment to uh, to your advantage. It's a very useful, um, powerful tool. Uh, I hope you learned something from watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.